fields and then you reach. She's competing here this week in training. Yeah, training level. Dress up. Yes. It's Friday. And my mic is doing weird things. Um, is her also her dressage horse? And she also plays polo cross on you. It just shows the diversity that we see in all the riding disciplines that are embraced by Pony Club. As you're most aware, starting this past January, Pony Club implemented the two-year Western Track Pilot Program. To give you an example of how Western can and does fit in the Pony Club, Catherine and her horse, her dressage horse and polo cross horse, Zan's Blue Frost, will demonstrate a reigning freestyle. Oh, by the way, well, I've got some more information about Raymond for you. Raymond is a uniquely Western riding competition for horses, where the riders guide the horse through a precise circles and stops. All work is done at the low, a slow, relaxed version of the horse gate, more commonly known worldwide as the canter and gallop. The fastest of the horse skates. Reining is often described as a western form of dressage riding as it requires the horse to be responsive and in tune with its rider whose aid should not be easily seen and judges the horse on its ability to perform a set pattern of movements. The horse should be willingly guided or controlled with little or no Rainy may be performed by any horse, but the stock horse breeds, particularly the American Quarter Horse, dominate the field. The rainy horse must be agile, quick, and very responsive to the rider's commands. Powerful hindquarters are required to hold position in a sliding stop or rollback. Excellent coordination is required for proper spins and flying lead changes. The horse must also have an excellent temperament to perform with both speed and precision. Riders must use a western saddle. Spurs are allowed, but whips are not. Bridles are western style without a nose band or cabison. The bozo style hackamore is also allowed on junior horses. There are very strict rules about what types of bits and bolsels are legal. Reining horses are usually fitted with special horseshoes on the hind feet called slide plates. Slide plates have wider bar steel and are smoother than regular horseshoes, with even the nail heads filed to be flush with the shoe. When the horse plants his hind feet for a sliding stop, the shoes allow the hind legs to slide along the ground with less resistance. Slide plates often have long trailers to help the horse's hind legs slide in a straight path, as well as a rolled toe so that the front of the hoof does not accidentally catch the ground. Riders must wear a long sleeve shirt, jeans, and boots. In most competitions, they also wear chaps. Gloves are optional. The rating patterns include an average of 8 to 12 movements, which must be executed by the horse. All levels do all the same movements in the rating tests. Difficulty increases not by adding any new movements, but in being able to perform them at greater speed without losing accuracy or balance. All patterns require large and small circles, flying changes, run downs, sliding stops, roll backs, spins, the pause, and back up. And right now, Catherine, will you go ahead and demonstrate the circle? With the circles, the horse must perform large, fast circles at a near gallop and smaller, slow circles at a low. They should be perfectly round with the rider dictating the pace of the horse. 
There should be an easily seen change of speed as the rider transitions from the large and fast to the small and slow circles. Most circles incorporate changes of direction that require a flying change of lead. In the flying changes, the horse changes its leading front and hind legs at the low mid stride during the suspension phase of the gait. The horse should not break gait or change speed. While completing a change at speed can improve one's score, precision is the most important factor in judging. A horse taking more than one stride to complete the change, or a horse that changes early, late, or that change only the front feet and not the hind feet will be penalized. A run down is when the horse gallops or runs along the long side of the arena. A run down is a required movement prior to a sliding stop and a roll back. The sliding stop is one of the exciting rating movements where the horse goes from a gallop immediately to a complete halt, planting its hind feet in the footing and sliding several feet. Rock it to you, let it front walk forward. The back should be raised upward and hind quarters come well underneath. A particularly powerful stop may, depending on arena conditions, produce flying dirt and a cloud of dust. The movement should finish in a straight line and the horse's position should not change. This movement is a crowd favorite along with spin. In the rollback, the horse immediately, without hesitation, performs a 180 degree turn after halting from a sliding stop and immediately goes forward again into a rope. The horse must turn on its hind quarters, bringing its hocks well under, and the motion should be continuous with no hesitation. Spins should begin from a standstill. The horse spinning 360 degrees or more, up to four and one quarter full turns in place around its stationary inside hind leg. The hind pivot foot remains in essentially the same location throughout the spin, though the horse will pick it up and put it down as it turns. Spins are judged on correctness, smoothness, and cadence. Speed adds to the difficulty and will improve the score of correctly done spin. A pattern requires at least one set of spins in each direction. Now just like there are musical freestyles in dressage, reining freestyle is also in reining. The freestyle allows the rider to create their own pattern to music. Required maneuvers are at least four consecutive spins each way, three stops, and one lead change each way. Other rating maneuvers can be included as can movements not usually included in a rating pattern. Most commonly added are lateral dressage movements such as leg heel or half pass. So, Capper, are you ready? Okay.